let's jump right in and open this guy up. You can see super cute little box here. Looks like a rabbit. So yeah, you're just gonna open it right back here. Pop it open, look at that. Brand new R1 straight out the box. Take the plastic seal off. So let's power it on. Take off the peel. Okay, first thing you wanna do is connect to Wi-Fi. So gonna select the correct network here. Use the touch screen to type in the password. Now it's connecting to Wi-Fi. Okay, go to rabbit.tech slash activate. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go sign up and let's create an account. Alex R1 setup, gmail.com. Select your region, verify your rabbit hole email. And then now let's go ahead and log in. Okay, so you can see connected to rabbit hole here and it says connect an R1. So let's go ahead and click that. And yeah, to activate. So for this, I wanna recommend to you guys, on a computer is easiest, turn your brightness up all the way. You see here it says scan QR code. You're gonna use the one on rabbit hole right here. And look at that, instantly linked. So now we're gonna go ahead and create a passcode and this is gonna be used anytime you're paying for something. So click continue. Just to be real simple, I'm gonna go zero, 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 zero and confirm it one more time. Passcode has been set. So now the final step is the OTA and you wanna bring your device up to date. Right now we're pushing out weekly updates every Thursday straight to your device. So with R1, you have something fun to look forward to every single week. I recommend plugging in directly into a wall outlet, whatever's the most powerful, you know, for a USB-C. And so we're gonna go ahead and plug this in. And we're gonna leave it to update. And so while you're waiting for it to update, this is actually a perfect time to log into connections in the rabbit hole. So I'm gonna go ahead here and just connect my Spotify account. You can see starting your login session and you'll be redirected. This is my email and boom, like that. Just connected to Spotify. So you're gonna to wanna to go ahead here and connect to all the different ones. We've got Uber, DoorDash, MidJourney, and really exciting one coming very soon and a bunch on the way. All right, so it's finished charging and updating. So let's give it a spin. Only took like 15 minutes, I timed it. So there's only one button on this device. The push to talk button right here on the side. You push, the ears go up. That's when they're listening. You can do anything like ask it for information, help with creative ideas, planning your days, and more. Powered by the best large language models out there. We got Perplexity on here, we got Anthropic, and Wolfram Alpha. So let's go ahead and give it a spin. Got some examples here. What's a single syllable word for happiness? Let me think. Joy. Super easy, super fast. Don't have to hop on Google. Let's try one more, something a little more, in, a little more thought out. It's my anniversary with my girlfriend this weekend. She loves the outdoors. I wanna do something sweet. Could you plan or suggest some things that we could do on our anniversary date? For your anniversary date with your girlfriend who loves the outdoors, here are some suggestions. Look at One, that. Picnic in the park. Pack a picnic basket with her favorite foods and head to a beautiful park for a romantic picnic surrounded by nature. So yeah, as you saw there, it gave me a whole ton of suggestions, everything from picnic in the park. You know, I cut it short for the purpose of this video, but then if you go ahead and pop into rabbit hole, refresh it to go home, go to journal today, Look, you can see the entire explanation. So, you know, if you're having trouble planning a day with friends or, a, you know, a significant other, our one's there to help. Now let's talk vision. Super easy. We have the rabbit eye here. It's always facing down. We're never watching you, watching what you're doing or anything. It just takes two clicks to activate vision and wake it up. You see the eye popped open there. Use the scroll wheel to decide if you're doing selfie mode or front-facing, 
And this is super helpful for, you know, not, not just identifying objects, but telling you more about what you're looking at or summarizing something like text. So let's go ahead and do that. I have this magazine here. So let's just go ahead and pretend that this is like a whiteboard or a page full of notes that you took, whether in a meeting or, you know, working with coworkers, something like that. Two clicks to activate vision, press and hold while you ask. Hey, can you take a look at this text and summarize it for me? Taking a look now. All right. The image shows a description of the rabbit, R1, which is described as a little bit like a phone, but instead of a grid of apps, you have an AI-based assistant. The key points are, the rabbit R1 is an AI assistant device not a traditional smartphone. Mm -mm. It is designed to provide a more intuitive, natural experience compared to scrolling through social media apps. The device allows you to order products online and get assistance with various tasks. The text encourages visiting the website at etbc.rabbit.tech to learn more about the Rabbit R1. Overall, the text promotes the Rabbit R1 as an AI-powered companion device that aims to offer a more natural and efficient alternative to traditional smartphone experiences. That whole response, just like the voice ask, is also going to be available in Rabbit Hole. And look, it gave me a summary. So if this was like a whole whiteboard full of notes, or like I said, handwritten, anything, or if even if it's actually a label in a different language, R1 can help you out. And you got all of it saved in here. Let's talk about one more feature with Vision. It's called Magic Camera. Some of you guys have seen it floating online. You use R1 to take pictures and generate AI retro futuristic 8 to 16 bit images of what you take a picture of. So let's go ahead and walk through that. Two clicks to activate vision. And then I have a fun little Lego, um, little Lego car here, Hot Wheels. And I'm going to go ahead and take a picture with Magic Camera. So what's different? using Magic Camera, instead of pressing and holding, it's a single click. So we're just gonna aim, I want good lighting, and one click. It takes the picture, and that's it. That's how you use Magic Camera. So it takes about 20 seconds to populate. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like. And then really cool, one quick thing I wanna show you guys with the rabbit hole is that there's a really nice search search feature. So anything you ever ask it, anything it ever looks at with vision, um, with the search up here, you can find it easily once you have tons of different queries. So let's say I was like, oh yeah, I asked about my anniversary. Let's, let's look at that again. A, N, N, and then boom, it's right there. You can find anything. Let's say, oh, I took some notes on R1 and it helped me. R1, vision, and you see it pulls it up right away. So let's go ahead and give it a refresh. Oh, and there's the magic camera. Let's see how it came out. Wow. Lego Hot Wheel car. Lego Hot Wheel car. Pretty cool. Next, I want to talk to you guys about some of R1's native tools, and these are some of my favorites. The meeting assistant and the translator. Meeting assistant is basically like voice memo, super simple. You just push and hold and say, start the meeting assistant. And there you go. It's recording, it records audio. Um, you can leave it going, it's recording through the top. And whenever you're finished, you just click one time to stop and it gets sent to you straight away in rabbit hole. Look, it's already there. You can download the audio file or a full text transcription. And it included a summary at the bottom. Next, I wanna show you the translator. Super simple to activate. Push and hold and say, translate from English to Spanish. Translation mode is initiating. Hey, what's up? Hola, ¿qué tal? Nada mucho. ¿Y tú? Tengo hambre. Not much. And you? I'm hungry. And then you can just keep going from there. I'm hungry too. What do you feel like eating? And there you have it, the translator. So just scroll up to exit, push, and there you go. Last thing, 
Going back to rabbit hole, I just want to give you guys general navigation. Anytime you click rabbit hole here, it takes you back to the journal. This is where you see your different entries. Go to connections to see the different applications supported through R1. We're adding more to these in the future very, very soon. And you've got a few settings on the top right here. If you ever need to disconnect your device, you can unlink it. Um, you've got your profile here, just basic stuff. And yeah, super easy to use, super intuitive. And that's getting started with R1. We've got a lot of awesome and fun new integrations and features coming up and a great community of R1 users sharing their favorite use cases, asking questions, and also giving feedback. And feedback is so important from users like you because it helps us to make R1 the absolute best that it can be. Thank you guys for your patience and we will see you soon.